All that allegation, nigga, I ain't never, nobody, I ain't never did none of that shit, nigga. I ain't, I ain't that kind of nigga, bruh. T.I. is innocent. I truly believe it. Get it up for him. There is no charge. I don't want to hear none of that shit. Don't play with me about that. I haven't put his hey, 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 hey. Don't play with me about that. I'm not. Because a lot of y'all are saying I took a cheap shot. It was literally going on and on harassing me. I don't know. What is up, TNY gang? In this video that you're about to see, T.I. addresses the situation with the female comedian where he went off on her. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the very next video. So I'm going to explain this one time. This is about what happened at One Night Only at our bar on Edgewood with myself and T.I. T.I. came to the show. It's about over anyway. It's an open mic. He comes. He does like 30 minutes. Now, after he gets off stage, I'm going to the next shit. I'm hosting. I'm talking about marriage and shit. He keeps cutting me off, telling me to shut up, calling me all kinds of shit, heckling me. So I'm like, all right, come on, stop playing with me. Like, it's crazy. You keep going, and I can't say nothing to you. He then starts yelling about how I need to take my wig off multiple times. Take your wig off right now. Cutting me off. Take your wig off right now. Because a lot of y'all are saying I took a cheap shot. This nigga was literally going on and on harassing me. I don't know why my eyes turn hazel. That shit is really ugly. But anyway, I said, I'll take my wig off when you speak on the allegations. Nobody was tight except for him. Nobody was trying to, nobody ever called him a rapist. I responded to him telling me in a room full of people to rip my wig off and made a joke just like he did. So if you got a problem with it, not mine. I'm not upset. And I, I didn't present myself as being upset. There you are. Thank you, baby. You're so very welcome. Anything else, darling? I did okay, I bring you the A1 sauce. Would you like? That's it, baby. Okay. Just on the side. It's Brussels sprouts. You don't want Brussels sprouts? You don't? I know it, but you don't Can I help you with anything else, please? Baby, I just want why you trying to be funny. I ain't being funny, I'm just asking you is there anything I can do like that make your stay more pleasant. Just give me some A1 sauce. Okay, A1 sauce. And none else. Okay, and say less. You got it. Coming right up. Whew. So, my nigga, I ain't mad. I ain't upset. Like, what you don't understand, I don't already had the problem out of her. Back when I first talked about, you know, when I first, when it was first, it, when it first became known that I was a comedian, or I'm not a comedian, but when it first became known that I was doing comedy, she went up, got on stage, and was talking about some shit about allegations then. You hear me? And I ain't say nothing to her, but some people who did say something to her, like, you know, they were just on some bird. Why, like, why you tripping? Like, what? Like, why is you saying shit like that, bro? Like, like, if you funny, like, for one, bro, for one, my nigga, for one, my nigga, ain't all that allegation shit, nigga, I ain't never raped nobody, I ain't never did none of that shit, nigga, I ain't, ah, I ain't that kind of nigga, bro. Dungeons, bitches, in my dungeon, you telling me I'm keeping somebody beyond their will, I'm holding somebody... Who want to lead this? That would have, like, bro, stop. Look, hey, so, with all that being said, all I'm saying here, so she said all that shit, right? And I kept it smooth, bro. Mind you, it's a whole fucking confession from a politician. Felicia Morris confessed to the whole plot of all this. And ain't none of y'all talking about this. Ain't nobody saying, hey, Felicia Moore, I already confessed to saying what she said was on TMZ, mind you. Google it. Felicia Moore, after she lost the mayoral election, she blamed me, Killer Mike, and Isaac Hayes III. She blamed us. And guess what? What she said was, T.I. should have got out of politics and he should have learned his lesson by now because last time he said something against me, that's what got him into it with all them allegations.
She already told y'all. To, bro. She done already told you what the play was. Why in the hell? Are we still going with this? Why are we still even talking about this? Because you know why? Because your ass ain't funny. You can't think of nothing else funny to say. You can't think of nothing funny to say. So now let me reach down into the goddamn sewers and pull out some bullshit. Mm. Let me hit that. Nope, I ain't going for it. Pull your, I'm pull your ass right on up. Hey, come on. Pull your ass over. That shit wasn't funny. And now you got an answer to it. Period. Shit wasn't funny, man. Shit wasn't funny. Shit ain't true. So now, you gotta deal with it. You gotta deal with it. You gotta deal with it, bro. I ain't picking on you. I don't care nothing about you. Care nothing about you. I care not. Look at me. Look at me. Do, I, do, do, do you think I'm giving a fuck about you? I ain't giving no fuck about you, man. At all. What I care about is you playing on my top. You finna play on my top in my fucking face. About some shit that ain't true and some shit that's made up. Some make believe ass shit. Bitch, you try. Pardon me. I apologize. It's not what I meant to say. It's not how I meant to address you. I apologize. Immediately, I apologize. Apologize. That ain't where I'm at with it. Hey, baby. You ain't got dress yet? What? Where's your clothes? Get some clothes on you, girl. What is wrong with you? Hey, 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 hey. Don't play with me, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. The one thing I am is a comedian. I'm not playing with you. See, now you're getting misunderstood. This is not a 